Yes, I was dirked over by Starbuck. Hi everyone, welcome to Battlestar Collectica, the channel dedicated to the stories, the memorabilia, and collectibles surrounding the Galactica universe. This past January, I made the very long ride from California to Albuquerque, New Mexico to meet Starbuck himself, Dirk Benedict. I had never met the actor before and it was on my wish list to finally get to meet him and ask him some questions about Starbuck. Because of time constraints on my part, I only could attend the first day and had to be back on the road no later than 10 o'clock the next day, which was Saturday the 20th. And before I purchased my tickets, I was assured by the convention people that yes, Dirk Benedict would definitely be there at his table to meet and greet fans. After a horrible car ride, I finally checked into my hotel room and made it over to the convention hall and immediately went to the autograph room where all the actors were set up and made my way to Dirk Benedict's table. Now, a rep for the actor was setting up the table with photos that you could purchase for autographs. And he told me that Mr. Benedict would be by in about a half hour to come back then. So that's exactly what I did. I walked around, met some actors, met Sam Jones from Flash Gordon, as well as Melody Anderson, who also was in Battlestar Galactica. Super nice people. Walked around some of the dealer's room. There was very little Galactica merchandise for sale, but there was some of the new modern stuff. And then I made my way back to Dirk Benedict's table. And again, the rep told me, oh, I'm expecting him here in another 20 minutes. Come back. So once again, I decided to take a walk. I saw a really cool Cylon display as well as a mock-up of the A-Team van with a mannequin of Mr. T. Very, very cool. And after I did that, I decided to go back to the table. But things were different now. Now this time, there was no representative for the actor sitting there with the photos for sale. The photos themselves were actually put into a bag and they're behind the black screen that you see there right under the actor's name. Now I start to get a little sick feeling in my stomach that Dirk Benedict was not going to show up. The car ride and the hotel had cost me a lot of money, but a rep from the convention itself said, oh no, he's definitely going to be here today. Just go walk around again for 20 minutes and come back and I'm sure Mr. Benedict will be at his table. Okay, so I wandered around for about 20 minutes. I came back, saw Sam Jones again, who gave me a high five, and I noticed a commotion at Dirk Benedict's table. The rep was no longer there, and there now was a sign. Dirk Benedict had decided to blow off the very first day of the convention, and I can understand if he was sick or simply couldn't make it, but evidently he was there that Friday, wandering around the convention hall, taking photos with fans. So it makes no sense to me why he would not even show up at his own table. To make matters worse, it was advertised that he would be there Friday. And even a rep from the convention could not believe that he didn't show because they sold a lot of tickets to fans who wanted to meet the famous A-Team and Battlestar Galactica actor. Now, to say that some people were upset is a understatement. There was a family that made the flight all the way from New York City to meet the actor, and they were not happy that he did not show up. And there was a fellow Galactica fan from Canada who, like me, had to be on the road the next day very early. He just kind of shrugged his shoulders saying, well, I got to meet Flash Gordon. Maybe next time I'll meet Starbuck. So that is how I got dirked by Starbuck. Am I mad about it? Not really, but I have to admit that car ride was pretty brutal and I would never do it again. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your fellow Galactica fan. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great Galactica day, everyone.